Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I told you all that I had something on order that I thought would help with providing my family with some fresh vegetables and herbs during the winter time, especially here in Alaska where we don't really have too much sun for about half of the year. And what I did is, is I ordered a small hydroponic system that is pretty much self-contained. Now for a person like me that doesn't have much experience in gardening, I think this is a great little system to, I guess you can say, dip my toes in the water and see how it works before deciding whether I want to expand on this and have a small room within my house dedicated to just hydroponics in the future. Now, like I said, one of the advantages that you would have with using hydroponics is that you can grow inside in a controlled environment and you can do it year round as long as you have accessibility to energy, i.e. electricity. I'm really excited that this comes with some pods that have like cherry tomatoes and herbs and things like that. So I have also ordered a few other smaller system uh, in addition to this one to grow some herbs and maybe some dedicated plants in them, but they haven't come in yet. And I've actually had this one here for over a week. I've just been letting it sit to make sure that there's nothing on the box or inside the box that could maybe affect our health in a negative way, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and open this up, show you what it looks like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got it all unpacked. Um, I actually took a look at some of the instructions before starting back up again, and I really like this system so far. I've never grown anything in this yet, so really can't give it a good rating until after we see what it can produce. But so far, what I mean about liking it is that it's very simple. It's literally pretty much a plug and play. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what parts came with it. I'm going to put it together and then I'm going to position it where I want it in the house. I've got a perfect little spot picked out for it. I'm going to put it on top of my air purifier and it's going to be just right on there. And then I'm going to show you what pods it came with as far as what vegetables. This is really a gourmet herb pod kit that it came with right there. So I'm only going to choose about four of the herbs that it came with just to try it out now ladies and gentlemen understand this is what I'm this is what I'm going for here even though I want to use this for the winter mainly I'm gonna go ahead and use it throughout the summer so that I can learn this system and maybe by the beginning of next winter I'll be proficient enough with it to where during the winter we'll have enough greens to provide us what we use without having to go to the store now, I've also ordered some pods that are blanks that you can add your own seeds to. And I've ordered some pods that are like uh, salad pods that come with various types of lettuces and cherry tomatoes and things like that. So it's not just limited to herbs, but I'm going to take this summer to learn this system. That way, hopefully by next winter, I won't have to rely on the store to get, you know, garden vegetables like peppers lettuce, tomatoes, herbs, and I do believe that they also have cucumber pods, right? In addition to having the ones that you can fill yourself with your own seeds. So let me go ahead and show you what it is. This is the main system right here, and it comes with an LCD screen that is very simple. Once you start this, all you have to do is program what time of the day you want your light on and off, and that's it. The pump works on its own, and all you have to do is provided with some plant food right here every two weeks or so but the system will alert you when the plant food needs to be added another thing that I like about this system is that look at this this right here is probably enough plant food for me to grow about 10 12 pods of vegetables and look at how small it is and I was thinking that if this works out well 
it would be a great thing to do to load up on this kind of plant food because I know they sell this by the gallon as well at a pretty affordable price. So imagine if you have a gallon or a few gallons of this that you can use to grow your food in a hydroponic system. You know, you're pretty much storing away a lot of nutrition and energy in a gallon-sized container instead of, you know, in a pantry or in addition to your pantry. This is what the pods look like. Like I said, it's pretty much plug and play. All you have to do is just drop these in here. They do come with a small dome. That looks like this. And you do is you put these on top. And once you put them in there, you leave these domes on top until the plant just about touches it. And then you can take them off. But the ones that I'm going to try with this first setup is going to be dill. This one is mint. Chives. And parsley. Look at this. What are you doing up there? Come on. Come on. I'm doing a video. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is your main unit. This is going to be your... It's like a telescoping power bar and it's very easy to put in you can't do it wrong there's only one way that it'll go in the back and it's right here all right and then this right here is your led light if I remember correctly, I believe it said that it's full spectrum. To tell you the truth, I don't know what that means. Uh oh, look at that. We got our visitor back. So all you do is you just take this part, you put it up in here. Come on. Get out of there. Now all you do to put your pods in is simple. This is what I like about it. And also on your on your pods, I'm not sure if you can see that. But it tells you whether this is going to be a short plant or a tall plant. And it tells you in the instructions that the taller plants are best in the rear and the shorter in the front. For this one run, I'm only going to do four pods. So I don't think it really matters. But you just drop in your pod. Then you take your dome and you just press it on. That's it. I forgot to show you, it also comes with what's called a trellis ring. And what you do is you take these four little uh, brackets or stands that it came with and you put them in here. And then you can actually hold these up. See that? It'll go like that. Then all you have to do is just put these in here. See these holes in here? Very easy. This is literally a plug and play system, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still a little bit skeptical as to how much food this will actually produce. But I've read a lot of really good reviews on these. So that's why I decided to give it a try. And all you do is just place them in here in the holes. And there you go. And as your plants grow taller, if they grow taller than what the light is right now, you can always telescope it up or down. See, so pretty simple system. Very excited to try it and see what's going to go on. So let me go ahead and place it where I'm putting it for good. And then fill it up with water and get it running to see what it looks like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was going to place this unit on top of my air purifier that's in our living room. However, I started thinking about Miss Pebbles. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? When we're not home, she can get into that and tear it up. So I decided to put it into a corner of my bathroom, which is right next to my water heater and under my filtration system for the house, where she won't be able to get to, hopefully, because there's obstacles in the way and we can keep the door closed when we're not here. 
So I think there's going to be a good spot for it. It's really out of the way. We never really used that spot there, and it's not really in the way of anything else as far as the mechanicals that are in this area. So as you can see, I've got it set up. I already started it. I just turned the power on, and that's it. Now what we're going to do is just fill it up with water until the fill line. And you'll see that the fill, it tells you right there, fill to here. So when I said it's plug and play, it's pretty much plug and play. Just follow the instructions, nothing extraordinary to do. You just fill it up till it gets to that line. Now while I'm waiting for my water to fill up, I just took my cup over there to fill it up. I'll go ahead and put some of the plant food on there. Now the instructions say that for a nine pot system, you need two capfuls. All right, that's two capfuls. And then the system will remind you about every two weeks to add another two or three capfuls, depending on what kind of a system you have. I believe that was four quarts of water, so roughly one gallon. So now let's go ahead and turn it on. Now here it says quick plant. You can actually set your clock to what time it is now, and then you can set it to when you want the light to come on and off. I do believe that the lights are on for like 14 or 16 hours a day. So I'm going to go ahead and set my time now. It's about 5.03 in the morning right now. Next, and this says now next, select the option that best represents the type of garden you will be growing. So see, ladies and gentlemen, this is very easy. So here we're going to go with herbs. Now it says... For herbs, your light will be on for 15 hours. Touch the next button, then update your on-off times as needed. Oh, we have to go back one. Okay. This says here to put your water in, which we already did. Put in your pods, which we did. Plant food, which we did. Congratulations, you're ready to go. All right, now what's happening is it says your pump will run one hour every 11 hours when in germination mode. After two weeks, it shifts automatically to the best pump cycle for your plant's garden or for your planted garden. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's with the light turned on. Now what's going to happen is the light will be turned on from 5 in the morning to 8 o'clock at night. However, you can adjust the time when it turns on and off if you like. It's very easy. It's just push button. Very easy. Now, since it knows that I'm growing herbs in this cycle, then it will automatically adjust the flow of the pump and the time that the light is on during the phase of the plants, all right? Because it knows, I guess it's been programmed to know about how long it takes for them to pop out and all that kind of stuff. The only thing that I need to remember is that when they start touching the dome of these little plastic domes, that I have to take them off. Other than that, that should be it. It'll remind me in a couple of weeks to add some plant food and then I just have to make sure that the water level stays up to where it's supposed to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what it looks like in here with the light turned off. It's actually pretty nice. It lights up the entire bathroom. One thing I forgot to mention is, is that the power source for this or the power consumption is about 40 watts. It's, I believe it's a 220 watt system. So you're getting 220 watts worth of light energy from the LEDs but it's only consuming about 40 watts. All right, now that we got through this, I have a little bit of mail call to do. So if you wanna check it out, just stand by. So Yarn Prepper sent me these items and at first I was like, what are they? 
but I read the card that Yarn Prepper sent me. And what these are is, this is a dishcloth, and it's handmade, and it's very nice. Also, she sent Little Miss AP a donut shower scrubber, so she can scrub herself up in the shower. <laughs> and these are also dish scrubbers as well. Now, I think from reading the... From reading the note that Yarn Prepper sent me, I believe she sells this. I'm, I'm assuming it's a she, but I'm not sure if actually Yarn Prepper is a she because she sent me her actual name. <laughs> so she makes these by hand, and I'm assuming that she sells these to make a little extra income. So if any of you guys are interested in these, Yarn Prepper is usually always on our comments. Just hit her up and see what she sells these for and if she can even get them. So thank you very much, Yarn Prep. I really do appreciate that and I guarantee you that we will be putting those to good use. So thank you again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the end of the row for this video. I'm gonna keep you guys updated and posted as to the progress of the, of the uh, herbs that I put out there. And when I get my new systems, I'll set them up and I'll show you what vegetables I'm planting on them. That way you can have an idea of what the process is like and how long it takes for you to actually see results coming out. So every time that there is a key day where I can actually see the plant sprouting or something like that, I'll go ahead and document it and then put it all into a video so you guys can see about how long it takes and what it looks like as it's working. So thank you very much for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. I'm pretty excited about this. I can see a certain part of my home that I'm thinking about right now that I can actually turn into an indoor garden uh, if I have enough grow lights and enough uh, hydroponic systems where it would actually provide us a really good bounty especially during the winter right during those months where there's no sun so having said that thank you again for joining in I hope you guys have a great day today just an update I am now working from home 100% of the time until further notice so we'll see what happens with that Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.